we're going back to the we're going back to the lesson of surfing. Why I'm wearing this? I got no idea. But. Now Corey is hunting. Oh my god! here in the Outer Banks. That's how I actually know about the Outer Banks. I didn't just like pick it on the map and be like, yo, I'm going there. <laughs> so they are here for this week and I'm using it as an opportunity to fix some stuff on the RV, get some stuff done and uh, changed out the taillights and I got all new taillights. They're LEDs because I tried to fix mine, but like I don't know, like the bulb housing wouldn't have doesn't didn't have any more spring left. So it didn't really work. Cleaned out the insides, looking all nice. Um, and yeah, it's uh, good to see my family and everything. A little bit of a break from the normalcy here. Break. Again. So that was a mission complete and they look pretty sweet. So now I don't have to like police, police, police while I'm going down the street. I don't have to worry about it. Hell yeah. Turn right onto Avalon Woods Drive. So we're taking Paula to the airport because she's got to go to Miami. Uh, there was some weird stuff happened in Frankfurt, Germany this morning. Her friends are uh, flying from Europe and they were in the airport and then everything had to be evacuated. So that's pretty uh, crazy. They had like a lady like ran away from security checkpoint or something like that. So they like thought it was crazy, but yeah. So Paul's got everything situated in Miami for like accoutrements of staying and stuff like that. So that's all right, but gotta take her to the airport still. So we all taking a little road trip to Norfolk so on the bypass thing right now but yeah sad but happy day so yeah slight right onto airport parking dev road Flights delayed, which is good though, because we kind of were running late anyways. It was 5:35, but now it's 7:10. But it's bored, like leaving 7:40, so it's all right. So I thought I'd maybe do a little bit of information about how to boondock or how the way I boondock here in the Outer Banks is. Oh my gosh, I'm extremely tired for one. Just got off work and it's like almost five in the morning from doing bar backing at my job. So I'm actually at a beach access right now. And if you are coming through the Outer Banks area and have an RV or whatnot. The best area is gonna be in the Kill Devil Hills area. Nags Head, it's actually against town code to be living in an RV. <laughs> I've been told that by the town code enforcement guy and also like a police agent or officer. So, Kill Devil Hills, they don't have that 
um, town ordinance so it's easier to park here and I got off work and said it's about 5 a.m. this parking place says no parking between 6 and 6 a.m. or midnight and 6 a.m. so <laughs> for the hour I'm here I'm more than 99 percent likely to not be uh, confronted or anything within an hour because the cops wouldn't be coming by it's not illegal it's you know I'm just using uh, you know a cautious maybe irresponsible freedom <laughs> but it's worked every time I've not had a problem other than staying at my job where I uh, was told by my boss and the owners of my job that I could stay there and then the cops even said uh, it doesn't matter because it's the town ordinance not their choice so yeah the Outer Banks is really cool Kill Devil Hills what I said area is good because there's you know a lot of beach accesses and you know you can always stay one night at a hotel parking lot if you needed to it works and you just get out it's no big deal remember guys don't be a nuisance though like you know don't be having music or anything like that just be quiet and go to bed wake up and leave it's no big deal you know you're not being uh, adolescently irresponsible or anything like that you just be a grown-up and treat it like your home you know so yeah I like living in different places. New Orleans is where I was from. Originally started boondocking and that's super easy there. So I had a little bit more of a challenge when I got here. I plan on taking a really awesome road trip from here all the way to California next month. I'll give you all a bunch more details about that. And yes, from here in North Carolina to California and this mother sucker. So yeah.